Everyone loves the good old chocolate chip cookies that grandma used to make. God bless. Today, however, we're talking about a different kind of cookies. The internet-based ones. Specifically, I'll show you how Clerk was able to be the first e-commerce personalization tool that went fully cookie-less to maintain privacy while still giving visitors a fantastic browsing experience. In this video, I will talk about what cookies are and why they're becoming much less relevant for tracking purposes. I will talk about the data that Clerk's AI needs to automate and personalize results. And lastly, you will see exactly how we're able to do this without relying on any cookies at all. A small disclaimer, the later parts of this video will become fairly technical as we dive into the AI and how we generate IDs. As always, I will do what I can to make it easy to understand, even for non-technical people. But if it sounds like Esperanto to you, does anyone actually still speak that language? Then don't worry, your developer or technical colleague will likely understand. Okay, let's start with demystifying cookies. In essence, a cookie is just a text file with a piece of information in it saved on your computer. Pretty simple thing, right? Usually, a cookie keeps track of a visitor's actions on a website, like remembering a password, the last thing they clicked on, their username, preferences, and so on. Cookies are generally split into first-party cookies, which are put on the computer by the website itself, and third-party cookies, which are added by external sources like Google or your email client. Cookies have been widely used on the internet to track user behavior and improve website experiences ever since they were invented back in the 90s. The problem with cookies started after the cookie law was implemented way back in 2011, where it started becoming harder to track meaningful data with them. Today, websites are required to ask permission before putting any cookies on a visitor's computer, and it's very easy to decline them with a simple click of a button. Further, ad bloggers and other types of privacy apps are getting more and more widespread because we want to stay more private on the internet, which honestly is a completely valid request. The feeling of being watched is not very appealing, no matter if it's by HAL 9000, Big Brother, Skynet, Ultron, or Facebook. This presents a big challenge for e-commerce businesses though. A challenge so big that it can be classified as a paradigm shift. Dramatic pause. Email services, personalization tools, Google Analytics, and most other external software that you use every single day for monitoring your business have historically relied on cookies with browsing data to personalize results and show statistics. Quite a lot of them still do. And these tools are completely blind to the visitors that decline cookies. They literally don't exist for these tools. Numbers time. It's hard to say exactly how many visitors say no to cookies, but most research agrees that between 11 and 36% of users decline cookies when it's obvious how to do so. This is just to give you an idea of how much data you're probably missing out on when you use software that rely on cookies. As an example, an analytics tool that requires cookies might show your stats based on 15,000 visitors in a month. If we average the 11 to 36% decline rate to 23%, you actually had closer to 19,480 visitors during that period. That's 4,480 visitors whose behavior is not included in your analytics at all. Any data geek worth their salt will agree that this amount of deviance makes your statistics questionable, if not downright invalid. Further, unknown users will see much less relevant content when a personalization tool is completely blind towards their interests. That's why it's so important for you to use tools that give you the full picture and understands visitors without relying on cookies. That's where Clerk comes in. At Clerk, we've always been highly focused on privacy-first development because we believe that it should be possible to have a fantastic internet experience without violating privacy. Clerk only requires you to sync your products, categories, and orders to display the best possible results. Let's get a bit more nerdy and technical. Clerk's AI analyzes your products, categories, and orders to build an understanding of how they interact. This is best visualized as a knowledge graph, where the AI identifies direct connections like products sold together, but also abstract concepts like whether a product is cheap, is an alternative, or an accessory. For example, if you have a clothing store, Clerk will know that something is a shoe based on a set of attributes like its category, brand, type, and much more, but also how your shoes relate to your jeans based on the order data. Clerk's AI does not rely on website data like searches, clicks, and browsing 
processing and so on, but only uses it for contextualizing the results it predicts. A simple example could be that we already know that a shaker is a great accessory for a strawberry protein powder. So if a visitor has clicked on the protein powder, we'll be able to recommend the shaker to them. Now, let me show you how we can do this completely without cookies. At Clerk, we do not want to track who a visitor is. We only want to track what they do in a session on your webshop specifically. None of the data tracked by Clerk is ever shared between stores. It only exists in your specific setup. Clerk uses a session ID, also called the visitor ID, to track clicks, searches and other browsing like it has done for many years. The difference now is that we're able to generate it on demand rather than storing it in a cookie. When using our Clerk.js solution, we simply generate an encrypted value, also called a hash, based on three data points. The visitor's IP address, their user agent, and a store salt, which is just a random set of characters that is unique for every single store. The store salt changes every 30 days, and with that, all customers and visitors get new session IDs if they come back. So this ID cannot be used for long-term tracking. The ID is included in every call to clerk services, so we know that this visitor has searched for Bulletproof, clicked on the Neuromaster supplement, and subsequently purchased it. We can now also show products related to this browsing in visitor recommendations, until the ID changes again. And I know what you might be thinking. Doesn't this mean that many visitors will get the same ID? I mean, if I'm at my local Star Joe's Buck Resso and the Bubble Tea, patent pending, browsing the same website from the same Wi-Fi using the same type of MacBook as the person right next to me, won't we get the same ID? Yes, that's exactly what will happen. As I mentioned, Clerk does not want to track individual visitors. We want people to stay private. We only need to track what happens in a specific session so we can personalize it and use it for aggregated statistics and showing you how well Clerk works. Further, the chance of this situation happening is so slim that when we turned on our cookie solution, we saw literally no change in the precision of our analytics. Let me show you how easy it is to be cookie with Clerk. Okay, so if you made it this far into the video, you're likely wondering how much it takes to achieve all of this. Good news. If you haven't explicitly done something to prevent it, you are likely already running Clerk without cookies. When we went cookieless in May 2022, we decided to make it the default, requiring no additional setup when using our Clerk.js solution. If you use any of our extensions, you most likely use Clerk.js as well. If you're in doubt, don't hesitate reaching out to our fantastic support team for guidance. For developers, Clerk.js can be configured to track sessions in four different ways. Auto is the default cookieless mode, when no explicit configuration is done. Persistent saves the ID in a cookie, so it can be used for longer than the 30 days max used in cookieless mode. We recommend adding this setting when a visitor agrees to cookies, allowing you to track their sessions for a longer time. Custom ID is a placeholder for any ID you define yourself. After all, the ID is just a random string of characters, so if you already generate your own visitor IDs or session IDs, you can use them in Clerk like this. Using null disables visitor tracking entirely. With these options, you have full control over how you want to track the sessions of each visitor based on their preferences. That's it for this video. To summarize, cookies have historically been used to track our behavior on the internet, but this approach becomes exceedingly irrelevant because of privacy regulations and the availability of tools that stop tracking. Relying on cookies is a big problem as analytics will be untrustworthy and many results won't be personalized when you can only track a subset of your visitors. Clerk has always been highly focused on privacy-first development and our AI only needs to understand your products, categories and orders to show the best possible matches. Clerk can track session data, which it uses for website personalization and analytics without the need for any cookies. By generating a session ID on demand from an encryption of a visitor's IP address, their user agent and a unique store salt that rotates every 30 days. Lastly, when using our Clerk.js solution, Clerk is running in cookieless mode by default, and it can even be configured to save persistent cookies when visitors accept them. You can also define your own IDs or even disable visitor tracking entirely, relying on only the order data, categories and products, which still gives fantastic results. Ultimately, if you want to grow your business by working smarter instead of harder, you need Clerk in your tech stack. It's the best way to attract, convert and retain 
your customers. Ta-ta, and farewell, my fellow e-commerce nerds.